Hi, in this video I will explain to you how much force is one Newton like in real life and I will give you like an example that you can see and you can feel, you can kind of feel how much force that is. First of all, if you don't know, a Newton is a unit which measures how much force is applied on something. So if I push my finger like this, this is expressed in Newtons, just like money is expressed in a currency like dollars. But before we jump into it, let me tell you really quickly why this interests me and why have I even thought about this question in the first place because most of these videos are sometimes questions that I think about and I answer them, so I share the answer on video. So like most of us, I had some physics exams and when I put the answer at the end of it and I went to my teacher back in school he would always show me this remark and he says you didn't put the unit 15 what 15 apples 15 dollars 15 what and if it's force it needs to be an as in Newton 15 Newton so he would always go remember to put the unit. The expression for Newton is actually kilograms times meter times second to the negative two. You will see that on the screen. Now I know a lot of people complain, why do we even use these kind of things? They used to complain back in school. Why don't you just tell me in words, in English, what that means and that way I can understand. Well, I'm about to tell you what this expression right here means. You ready? Here we go. It's the amount of force it takes to accelerate one kilogram of mass at the rate of one meter per second squared in the same direction of the applied force. Now, go ahead and just forget about this because it's not going to pay your bills. Maybe if you're a teacher, it might pay your bills. If you put like a cup or a box or something on a table or any surface, then that pushes down with a certain force and that force is expressed in Newton. So basically if an object weighs 100 grams then it pushes down on that surface with a force equal to 1 Newton. This right here is a Snickers bar and it weighs 50 grams. It says here it weighs 50 grams. So if I place this on my palm like this, it is pushing down on my palm with its weight which is 50 grams and that means half a Newton like this. If we get another one and we put it here, we stack them like this. Now they are pushing down with one Newton on my hand. So just go ahead and do that and you will actually feel how much force is one Newton. It is that is that simple. It's that it's that much. It, it's very very small. Which is why you will see a lot of the physics problems most of the times or often it is in kilonewtons, meganewtons. This has benefited me because when I went to college and I was solving answers which involve force and that kind of thing, sometimes in the middle of the exams I would know that the answer is wrong just by looking at it because it doesn't seem too realistic sometimes I feel like there is this the answer that I wrote suggests that I'm using too much force to maybe move a small fork like this a few inches or maybe knock a glass off a table which doesn't really need a lot of force but I'm getting so much force now let me clear a very quick misconception because some people think that if you put an apple inside of your hand then that is one Newton that is how much one Newton is well this may be true but to that I will say no it's wrong because apples are not the same so it's not the object it's the weight of the object 100 grams is one Newton two Snickers bars if what they say on the label is true. Thank you very much guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. I really hope you made that very clear. Just a question that I had in my mind at some point and I remembered it and I thought I'd make a video about it and share it with the people. Oh.